visuals. Welcome to a, well, for a very relaxed edition of the Visual Guys Entertainment News on my part. How relaxed is Chris? I'm not too bad. Are you all right? I'm not too we've, bad. We've, we've, we've uh, literally about to say we've both been at work all day and we've both had a nice, lovely long watch with Robert Battinson in The Batman, uh, which was once again fucking phenomenal. We don't need to talk too much about it because we reviewed it 2002, 2003. It was like about, like that. not yeah. 2002, 2022, 2002. Um, yeah, we've just, get down. We've just watched the Batman. Absolutely fucking phenomenal. That I think it's the, the end now of the oh. Batman 85 year celebration cinema crack. Um, it was tremendous, Chris. Tremendous. When was the last time you watched it? Other than tonight. Uh, Cinema? Oh, was that last time you watched it? Uh, <coughs> as I see it. I think. Yeah. I think. It was, it was for whatever reason, when it came out on, um, online, I was watching it every fucking night for some stupid reason. I don't know, I just probably loved it. But anyway, it's amazing. It's phenomenal. Uh, but it is the entertainment news. So before we get started, we'll, we'll, we'll there's no reviews to do anything like that. We could just don't run down. Oh, no, I'll quickly say the journey in Middle Earth is done. It's still as phenomenal and magical as phenomenal. ever. I cried my little fucking socks off and I had Andy sat next to me, turn and look at me and just look at me in absolute disgust and disdain. Uh, but every single one of us, little Richie Richie went, who'd never seen Lord of the Rings, completely fell in love with it and loved it. It's still just as magical and amazing and as wonderful as ever. It's still peak cinema and peak storytelling for me, Chris. Uh, I definitely recommend you should have a nice rewatch it to yourself on a one Sunday rainy afternoon. You should just sit back, relax and get it all done again. Well, last time I, I did the New Year's. New Year's. New Year's. We did, Year's. We did uh, them. I can't. I always do this, right? I can't remember if we did them and the Hobbit. If we just did them, I think we just did them. We didn't do the Hobbit. We just did them. Yeah, yeah we did that on New Year's. That, that would have been like four, maybe five years ago, was it? Something like that. Yeah. So next time you got now to watch, you're up to date. I recommend you just sit back and dive in Middle Earth again for a little bit. Speaking of Middle Earth, uh, Chris hasn't done Rings of Power, so that's one show we can't quickly recap. But I will quickly say episode seven was an absolute fucking banger for me. It's what I've been describing as peak what? television. Peak so TV. Chris will give you his thoughts and opinions. But run us down with what you have watched, Chris. What I have watched. Well, I watched potential spoilers. I've watched episode three of Agatha. Go on then, quickly give us your, your, your thoughts now, because like I said to you, I've been thoroughly enjoying it. I enjoyed this episode. Miss Hart, well, bless Miss Hart. So I enjoyed this you know, episode. Poor girl, she's just come along for the journey. I know. She's fucking deed. I know. Poor fucking girly. Oh, have, you, have, have you been know. having fun with it though? I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. It's special. I, I think I'm having more fun with it because it was. <laughs> I didn't expect much to come from it. I just thought, okay, we'll see what Agatha's up to. I'm not really as invested. It started. I'm like, I've been fully enjoying this. Started off weird. He's singing uh, down, down, no. down the. I'm still singing. It's on my Spotify playlist. <laughs> <laughs> fucking bit. I will quickly say. Potential spoilers, I don't even know if you want to hear this. The Funko Pops have been released of certain characters, uh-huh. which has potentially spoiled who certain people are. I don't know if Funko was supposed to release them yet or whatever, but it shows the little boy has been Wiccan. Uh, obviously, we know Wiccan and Speed wanders kids. So if that's the cat, the crack, and he is Wiccan, um, I'm assuming he's wanting to get on the road to get to the end to bring a version of his mum back. Mm-hmm. A, in a different body form, in a different or whatever it may be, makes sense. Which would then make sense to see him again in a later version with with like Kate Bishop and and Cassie Lang and stuff in Young Avengers. Uh huh. And it's shown Orbi Plaza to be uh, shown. She's playing uh, Death. Yeah. Which has got a huge thing in it with, with Deadpool with Thanos. So I don't know what story they want to go down, but that's what Funko's labeled their characters' names as. Oh. Which would yeah, because obviously as well, which would explain the spell every time he described himself or his name. You get like a little, kind yeah. of like a W, kind of like Wanda. Because obviously he should technically be dead because when the bubble went, he should have went because Wanda created him out of nothing. But we know with weird spell, multiverse shit, uh-huh. it could be a different version or whatever it may be. But that, that's just what I've seen off the Funko Pop leaks anyway. Ooh. No, but it's a good episode. I'm enjoying it. Hopefully it uh, continues to be enjoyable for me. Yeah, was it was it eight episodes? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, eight episodes. It, it, I'm I'm so in love with it right now, and I'm having fun. It's gonna be it's my nice little Halloween watch. Um, watch. So he's up to date with Agatha, and he's enjoying it. I Lord am. Ring's not up to date with no. Uh, what else we got? We got a penguin. We got penguin. Uh, well, episode one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 
episode one of Penguin. Loving it. Fucking loving it. It's, uh, it's quite nice to have that go watch the Batman. Yes. And then, obviously not me, but you maybe refresh a little bit. I said when it first started, I, 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 I remembered... Is there no, anywhere? you know, big flood really happened. Yeah, I remembered all that shit at the beginning, and then obviously Penguin kicked off, and just just a fucking brilliant show. Yeah, just absolutely. This this particular world of Batman is phenomenal, and Colin Farrell being sexy, but at the same time not sexy because yes. he's sexy in real life, but he's unsexy as the Penguin. He is with, with his, his gummy foot and his Bentons. Cockney accent. <laughs> <laughs> the Penguin. Uh, but but you enjoy the penguin. I'm loving the penguin. Uh, what else have we got show wise, Chris? From from yes. From uh, what did you think of from three episode one, loving it. Yeah. It, it Love the program since since I started watching it and enjoying it still. I still because I can't get over then that I I read the headline from you uh, uni lad where the fuck it's called on Facebook because they always have horrible Facebook statuses saying this is the best this has been deemed this and they put that this is the scary show to ever be for. Do you know what? I'm going to have to watch this just to see what these idiots are on about. And even though they were wrong in their statement, but it was also a happy accident because I was like, yeah, I'm in love with this show. And as season three starts, I agree with Chris and continue to be in love with it. Yes, definitely. More mysteries, more twists, more turns. It's, it's annoying though because it's one of them shows because there are a lot of question marks and questions and shit. Every time an episode ends, you're like, fuck! Yeah, we've got to meet his father. Mate, yeah, potential sp- Mini spoilers. Mini spoiler. Well, we don't know whose father, but we no, yeah, we got to meet his. Obviously, you'll know. We got to meet his father. So, but you so you enjoyed episode one. I enjoyed episode one. Uh, one for me, not for Cries. Uh, Brassic come back. You can binge all of season six once again. Phenomenal continues to be. I did a video not long ago. My ten favorite TV shows, and it, it just continues to prove to me why it's in my top ten because it's fucking outstanding. Outstanding. Um, yeah, Br- Brassic's just. Oh, it's phenomenal. But all of that stuff, you can smash all of that. And I don't think TV show is there more. Uh, for me, uh, season two, episode one of Tulsa King. Oh, yes, you said about the Stallone. Sl- Stallone is back with Tulsa King. Is that weekly? Yes. It's weekly. So, again, loving it. Enjoyed season one. And I love season two. More mafia, rocky shit. Yes. But just less rocky. Yes. Does he do any boxing in it? Or any fighting? <laughs> like actual fist fighting? He does. Oh, there he goes. There's a little bit of rocky then. He does. He brings a little bit of rocky into it. Um, yeah, I don't think I've got anything else to jump on top of that. No, I think I'm up to date, sir. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Right, so before Chris goes on his phone, let's quickly go off my stuff. We had a trailer for Thunderbolts. Did you watch it? I did. What do you think? Loving it. Yeah, it looks so much fun. It does look fun. Yelena is just oh, Red Guardian, US agent. And yeah, I, I can't wait for Thunderbolts. Yeah. Obviously, Bucky, we don't quite know what's happening with him. No. He seems to be kind of with them, but then he's against them. And yes. Whatever's going to happen with Bucky, but I'm so excited for Thunderbolts. I think it's going to be fun. It's going to um, be fun. There was another trailer I saw. What the fuck was it for? Uh, well, while you're thinking, uh, I'm going to say... I'm going to say, well, it, it says oh, trailer I, two. I remember it, I remember but it. I don't think I watched trailer one, so I'm casting this as my trailer one. Well, you might be on the same thing as me. The Last of Us. Yes, that's exactly what I was thinking. Because I also have some weird news with that. Well, not weird, it's, it's news to me, it might not be news to you. But tell us about the trailer. We've got the trailer of The Last of Us uh, snippets. We've got to meet certain characters. I know what's going to happen because I play the game. I'm obsessed with the games. You are our so expert on Last of Us. when certain scenes happen in the trailer, I was like, yep, yeah, I remember that. Yep, yeah, I remember that. Like, oh, yeah. no! So it looks as if they've got it bang on from the game again. To you. Ish. Yeah, yes. Ish. Until I watch the program, yeah. I can't confirm, but yes. It's uh, not Pedro Pascal. was a good looking lad, isn't he? <laughs> I had to get that in there. Yeah, uh, I was going to say we've got a, a Last of Us trailer. This is... um. This is where fans go a bit extreme because it's Last of Us news. Um, the girl that plays, what's her name, that caves Pedro's head in? Abby. Abby. I didn't know that in the video game, the voice actress, I don't know if you know her name, do you know her name? Not off the top of my head. She got so many death threats. She did. Because of that. Yeah. And the same thing is happening for the live action. The girl playing her yeah. has had to have extra security around her 
because of the events that transpire inside of the show. Yes. Which I understand being all pissed off with the character and shit, storytelling, like, you know, you could hate Saruman from Lord of the Rings or you can hate the Green Goblin because of what he does. You can hate, but I, I don't understand why people are going crazy hating the actress, actresses or actors or whoever played I know, her. it's stupid. It's so it dumb. is stupid. Like, I'm going to watch her, it's spoilers, I'm going to watch her cave in one of the love of my life's head in, and I'm going to just fuel myself to hate her. But the actress is, it, it's it's like too, it, I it found it so bizarre that she had to have extra security mm. because of this. It's so dumb, and the voice actress had to have it. It just sounds so stupid. Oh, it is stupid. It is stupid. And like I said, I didn't want to play Abby after the incident. But... After playing Abby, you kind of understand why she did it. Well, from what you've described, it's very much a, a Negan esque type situation. Yeah, like, we all hated Negan because oh, you killed fucking Glenn. But when you realise it from his point of view and shit, you kind of like, well, I kind of get it. A little yeah, bit. and that's kind of how you've explained it to us ages ago. Yes. So there's reasons. It's not just she's an evil. It's bastard. still a fucking heartbroken scene, especially when you basically. You follow him in the, basically the entire first game, and then this shit plays out in yeah. game two. It must be a bit of a, oh, back into it, back in with Joe. Oh, we're dead. Where the fuck did that come from? Where did you just, where's this just come from? Oh, just, it's just, it must oh, be a, when the scene broke out, I was like, no! It's, yeah, I'm, I'm, the worst thing that had to be played by somebody I adore, which is just going to make it even worse, even though I'm not as emotionally invested as Chris is because this is his franchise. I'm I'm gonna be blubbering just but because Neil Druckmann he's a fucking he's a brilliant guy and I can't wait to play the third game. Hopefully it's out soon enough. For you. I know it's gonna be a little while, but hopefully it fucking flies in for you. Hopefully. Yeah, but anyway, the show looks amazing. Regardless, hate the character as much as you fucking want. There's no reason fucking going nuts on the people playing, me- sending death threats to somebody because they're pretending. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you know how many times I fucking wander around my house pretending to be Obi Wan Kenobi? <laughs> if, if people suddenly out there being like, "Oh, you're gonna fucking death threat you," they're gonna be taking oh, fuck off. It's a weird one, mate. I don't like it. I don't understand yeah. it. But we get to we get some. I'm saying we, you, you get some to meet some new characters, and yeah, and, and we get to see it. Well, I'm assuming they're newish to me, but I don't know if we saw these stages of the mushroom zombies. It looks as if there's some different type. There's one that kind of looked like a not a flower head. Yeah, but... they've uh, they've obviously been around for a while, so they've kind of like evolved a little bit. Yeah. So yeah, we do see some. Uh, the other day, I actually rewatched episode one. I absolutely adored episode one because the second it starts, and especially the car not car chase, but the the car mo- moving like through the town. Yeah. And, uh, my heart just. And even again, just pounding away. I'm saying, ah, you need to play the game. A hundred percent. You've do. got the PlayStation. Play the fucking games. No, you're absolutely right. I do. I'm, I'm, I'm just about done because I got Funko Fusion. Just about done with Funko Fusion. Highly recommend. Um, we'll talk about that later. Um, but yeah, I, w- I will. I will eventually fucking get around to it. It's just because, like I said, now I've done it the backwards order. I've done show then game. I just see Pedro, and then I just I can't fucking do it. Even though I've watched him had his head caved in and fucking. Game of Thrones and fuck knows what's going to happen with him as Mandalorian and shit and we're going to see him as Mr. Fantastic but anything we get in the world like he's definitely going to die in Gladiator because it looks like he's playing the bad guy yeah. so he's definitely going to die in that Jesus fucking Christ and then that's me saying just separate the actor and the actor, the character whereas I can't fucking do it now but no it looks phenomenal I cannot wait for it yes I cannot wait um, yeah. it says 2025 but I'm going to reckon it's going to refer to the second quarter of next year, yeah. So towards like halfway onwards. No, so no, sorry. The Second s- quarter, so yeah, like so. from April onwards, I reckon. Well, that, that's close enough. Yeah. So that might do me. If when when has it been like two years since the last came out? Because it come out. How has uh, it been? Yeah, it would have been. It's been. It came out. I think it came out around Christmas time, didn't it? November time, twenty twenty. Yeah, I think you're right. It feels like two minutes ago I was watching that. It really fucking does. It does. But no, yeah, phenomenal. Can't wait for it. I don't think, yeah, I think trailer-wise and shit, I think I'm all up to date. Actually, quickly get your phone out there, Chris. Uh, this is just a question. This is nothing you have to really think about. Um, I think I already know the answer because you, well, I do because you just said it. Um, who is officially your favourite Batman and your favourite Batman film and then 
Oh, so. Steppy Robin Patterson. Mm-hmm. Even though he'd come with a lot of criticism, even from me to start with. Before he did film. from me, because I was like, really? Yeah, why is the Twilight guy really? like Batman? But it's about time. I've, I've watched a dark Batman for such a long time. I forgot it was a 15. And it, he plays it fucking really well. He's, Matt Reeves has done it fucking spot on. It's, it's, um, it's great as well to see him a bit more of an inexperienced Batman where he makes one or two little mistakes yeah. and stuff. And as these Batman films go on, however many we're getting, I don't know. Um, it'll be nice to see him evolving. Blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, Rob Patterson's your favourite. Is the Batman your favourite Batman film? Or do you like no, I'd, yeah, I Dark think it Knight? Is. Or I it, think, that's, yeah. It's my favourite. It, it like. is definitely. Because I, I would say it's because it's so dark compared to the others. Like, yeah, they are dark-ish. Yeah the, but, yeah, the Dark Knights aren't, they've got a dark tone of water, but I know what you mean. But this is a dark film from start to finish, and it's so fucking brilliant. It's spot on, written beautifully. Well, I think you've got me and Chris in both agreement. They're both my favourite bats and both favourite bat film. What's your news, sir? Well, my news. Oh, hello. We're starting off with the 300. As that... in, three of this as Sparta. Yes. Oh, okay. Zach has confirmed that he is making a TV series. All right. Um, I still need to watch the second one. Rise of an Empire. That's all about the Athenians. Okay. You know the ones that um they kind of help the Spartans out and they're like, "What are you? I'm a poet. Oh, I'm a writer. Spartans. What are you? Warriors." Uh, it was only recently. I say recently, maybe because yeah, you were huge on it, were you? Beginning of the year, uh, whatever it was. No. No, you uh, weren't on it. No. It was a lot more. I got bored. Yeah, you, I remember you saying that. On, I got yeah. bored. I don't know if Rise will be any better for you, but I think most people say three hundred. The first one's the best. I fully enjoy both. I really enjoy both. So, mm. well, hopefully you can enjoy Rise a bit more. It's more um, water battles as well. Yeah, more scene and shit. But there's a TV show coming. There's a TV show coming. Well, the hope that, yeah, because lately, as of late, Zack Snyder's been sort of doing my head in a little bit with stuff. So hopefully this can get me back on the Zack Snyder's truck, because I was all about the Jack, Zack Snyder uh, Justice League, and then it's sort of like, oh, it's a bit weird. And, and I'm, so hope we can get the bandwagon back on back on track here. See, I, I enjoyed Justice League. I, I really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed Jack, it. The, the, especially, especially when he did the director's version. Yeah. Really enjoyed that. 100%. Um, I mean, that, that was like four hours as well, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Rebel Moon was... I enjoyed Rebel Moon. Um, but we missed a bit, I reckon. We, it, obviously, Netflix said, look, it need shortened. Which it did. He did. I, I don't even know if I can say I enjoyed it. It's still, to, in my head, I've only watched them once. They just feel like a massive mess of, I don't know, nonsensical... Yeah. Like, it didn't know what it wanted to be. It didn't know if it wanted to go more down a Star Wars route or it's... This weird westerny cowboy sci fi adventure route. I, I don't know, it just, unless it was just the way I took it on board. Well, like I said, I, I re watched the, direct, the director's cut um, when they came out. And. Did you enjoy it a bit more? <laughs> Not really, no. Uh, they weren't awful, but they were. I don't know, I felt very. Unsatisfied and unfulfilled. Mm. Like, there was more of a plot at the beginning um, with the first one. They didn't just go straight into it and like, right, like, okay. Mm. There was more of a plot and more of a storyline. And there was little bits and bobs snippet in between each episode, uh, each bit. Yeah. But you'd be lucky if there was like maybe, I don't know, 40 minutes added on. Yeah, each there one. weren't. Massive jump up. I mean, forty minutes is a, is a long time, but yeah, they were they were fine. But that's a very soft fine. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, no, Optimus. He fucking loves you so much. Oh, and I can see Slava. Oh, Get man. out. You mean huh? He doesn't care. Look at him still wagging his tail thinking, oh, he loves that I'm doing this. Uh, Grown Ups 3. Oh, hell yes. Have you seen Grown Ups? Yes. yes. I enjoy Grown Ups. Uh, Grown Ups 3 is happening. Um, yeah. 
Grown Ups are very much on my list of films that I'll just constantly rewatch when I just want a few hours of, to be filled in. Along the likes of Scream and American Pie and Ship and Goo, the Grown Ups are always on that list. Yeah. James Cameron has confirmed he has the rights for the Ghost of Horoshima. The game? Uh, he's making a film out of it. Oh, hell yeah. I, I never played the game, but I definitely, definitely want to get that game at some point. Mm. Especially after like um, Shogun and shit like that yeah. kind of, you know, sort of vibe. He's oh, finishing off yeah. um, Avatar first. And then he's doing this. This is his next project. Sweet, I will. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't take a typical James Cameron fucking 40 million years. Oh, away. no. Jeez, all right, bye. Bye. I'll take my dinner to go. <coughs> but he's going to do that. Yes, he's got the rights. That is the game, isn't it? I am remembering the name. Yeah, right. it is a game. Yeah. It is a game. The film will be titled, titled Last Train from Hiroshima. All right, okay. So, sweet. Yeah. There we go. Um, we are getting... I think we talked about this in the past. Oh. So we've got a bit more of a storyline now. Um, it's called Sinners. I don't think we had a title last time. Um, it's Michael B. Jordan. And saw the trailer. I just saw the trailer. I haven't seen the trailer yet. When you said there, Sinners, I just watched me Because Michael B. Jordan looks all kinds of ready for my penis at the start of that trailer. <laughs> <laughs> it's got Michael B. Joel and, oh, and so uh, Hayley Stanfield. Um, That's it, you like her. Yeah. I don't get wrong, I like her. But you probably find her attractive, whereas I want to get all up in his cleavage. She can bring her cleavage towards me, and I'm going to say, sorry, love, I'm a straight man, but I want the man's cleavage, please. <laughs> please. It's, please. A, it's, a, it's an upcoming vampire movie um, titled Sinners. Trying to leave their troubled... Lives, lives, fucking hell. Troubled <laughs> lives behind twin brothers Michael B. Jordan. So I'm just gonna play two people. Oh, what a sandwich! Uh, return to their hometown, start again, only to discover that an evil is awaiting. Fun vampires with Michael and Haley Steinfeld. Yes, beautiful. I will watch the trailer now. I know there is one. Yeah, it's it. Um, well, it popped up on my TikTok and it said like trailers are available now on YouTube. YouTube. John Cena. Oh, hello. Hello. He's making a film. Right, okay. But I don't know why. Because it makes no sense. And oh, I, I just... can't get my gist of it. I can't get the gist of it. Oh, I just see what you're about. Wait, wait, hang on a sec. So, you can't get the, you don't see why. No. So why would it be a pointless film? Because I don't, I, I can't, I don't know how or where or what or who or what, the, how it's going to work out. How is a John Cena? Right, give us a, is it is is it a standalone film? Is is he is he done this stuff before? Is this the first time we've seen him in the, as this character? I don't know because I don't know what character he's playing. Well, uh, what, so what can we? It's not Peacemaker related, obviously. Um, it's just because obviously you must have some knowledge about this thing he's doing. I do have knowledge about what yeah, he's so doing. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to guess what it I is. I have big knowledge about what Fast he's doing. Furious? No, because he's done that. Uh, I do have big knowledge of what he's doing, but what doesn't make sense is how he's going to do it. Or what, or... I, I don't know. I do have... The only thing I can feel in my head is maybe going down that route, but I don't know. Chuck is out there. I obviously can't think. Well, John Cena, mm-hmm. you're, you're, I can't, no one can see it, person. <laughs> you can't it's, see me. Yeah, that one is starring, he's going to be lead oh. role in a live action Matchbox movie. Matchbox, is it the cards? Yes. Okay. Yep. Right, yeah, I don't, I, I'm assuming what all they're going to do because wasn't it, okay, you can correct me if I'm wrong here, Chris. Didn't Matchbox only do certain select cars? What do you mean? They only had a certain. It wasn't just every car. When they, the first came out, no. Yeah, they just had it. So maybe it's just a film about doing shit with them cars. I don't know. And they've just called it. I don't know. I don't know if he's gonna. What I was thinking of, he, he was gonna be the inventor. 
Oh, yeah, all right. Yeah, sorry. I'm looking at the actual car. Yeah, so maybe it's because they are quite even. I know them, and I'm not a car collector guy. So maybe it's the story about how the Matchbox car come about. Yes. I wouldn't even hate that, you know. I would not That's even hate the only that. story storyline I can go down. But I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it's already got me interested because I don't know how the fuck they're going to do it. You're, you're right. I'm already wanting to watch this just to see what the fuck it's about. Yeah. I, I mean, it's not something I'm necessarily against because I don't know what they're doing, but... Go for it. I can't, what you've just said there, I can't. I do agree. You know how we just had like the air fill about all the start of the air Jordans. Mm-hmm. Maybe it could be something along the, the lines of that. You know, but this time, how they all start the match, fucking possibly. Yeah, that's the vibe I'm getting from what you've just that's said. That's the only route I can go down because nothing else makes sense. Yeah, and unless it is just, yeah, I don't. I mean, that's one to keep uh, keep an eye on and see what the fuck's going on. Yes. You're going to come in, though, because Chris is an old frozen man. He's going to freeze soon. <laughs> I will do. <laughs> <coughs> there he is. Yeah, keep your eye on that one, people. Keep your eye on that one. I'm sure Chris will inform us. I will do. I've got a lot of food. Things going You've on. You've got a lot of food stuff. I do. We had another trailer this week. We had it on Thursday. Ballerina. Oh, I didn't watch it. Ballerina. The John Wick spin-off. The John Wick spin-off. Okay, did you watch Anna it? Anna de Armas. It's finally coming. I see um, everyone's talking about that because of the threesome film with Sydney Sweeney that's coming out. Yeah. <laughs> so everyone's talking about that. Yes. Describe what happened to trailer then for us. Um, the British guy in... From the Continental. Yes. Yeah. Him. Whatever Ian, he was... What, Ian, no. Whatever he was called. Yeah. Uh, basically walks into a school. She's a young girl. She's all blooded up. And he's like, I see you like to dance. Or whatever. If you like to dance, follow me. And she basically does. Um, uh, and, as, and then you see kind of growing up, getting trained to fight and shit. And then she gets her own little mission. Um, she goes into the court now and, and bless him. Rest in peace. I know you're gonna say yeah. Him, him. Oh, so he's in this. He's in this. It was his last film. Oh shit. Um. So he's in this. Um. She does a mission, gets a weapon, blah blah blah, do some fighting, and John is in this. Did you see John Wick? You see John. This is a film. This is a film. Oh, because I thought originally it was gonna be a series. No, it's a film. So is there any Norman Reedus in or not? Do you remember Edge? Yes. You see this. You see Norman, Norman, but you don't know if he's the good or the buddy. It's got to be a body, surely. Um, but it looks good. Yeah, it looks yeah. good. Right, okay. Now, this is since before people get confused. Oh, how can it be? He's dead. Yeah. It's set <laughs> between three and four. Because we've just had four. Yeah. Four. Yeah, we've just had four. Yeah, actually. everyone's still alive. <laughs> 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 Currently, <laughs> yeah. So it's set between three and four. It's set between three and four. Right. Okay. Yes. I'll, I'll, yeah. When I go upstairs and chill, I'll, I'll get that trailer watched. So yes, lovely. I, I still, as much as I'm not the biggest John Wick guy, I still love that fucking stare. <laughs> just rolling. Yeah. You know, <laughs> after they've just fought their way up, just to go right back down to go. <sighs> let's do it again. Fucking so much fun. Uh, well, I've got two more, but one of them you mentioned on the way to cinema. Oh, hello. Um, Hellboy. Yeah. It's not coming to the cinemas. It's gone straight to streaming. Because that should have been our normal week weekend watch. Especially, so I, I, li- I really like Hellboy. Hellboy's like, quite fun. So I was a, bit, a little bit disappointed by that. But it says here it won't be released in cinema in the US. It doesn't mention anything about the UK. That's an issue. Oh, well, I just I read it said it's not coming to any fear theatrical releases. It'll be going straight to um, streaming on the. I think it was the fourteenth of October. But this was. I want to say this was Wednesday slash Thursday. I read this. Yeah. Just says you can buy off. 
YouTube or Apple or it, Amazon the, they've Prime. already they've put it on YouTube. But with uh, no West twenty twenty four toy until World twenty twenty four twenty nineteen. I was gonna say. Uh, one with um David Harbour. Yeah. The Crooked Man. Uh, Hellboy, the Crooked Man, released should have been released today on yeah. the twenty seventh. Yeah, we should have been seeing it. Da, 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 da. It will be released direct to VOD in the United States by Catch Up Entertainment on the seventh of October. So what did the UK get then? Um, da, 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 da. I don't fucking know. Because if that is why it doesn't really matter if, it, if, it, if it's going to US streaming, we can still watch it anyway. Anyway. Yeah. But. Did it even say what streaming apps? No. I think me. I'm. I'm. I'm assuming it's going to be like an Amazony. I can't see it being Netflix or. Uh, it won't be Disney. I don't think it'll be Apple. So I can only really see it being on Amazon straight away. Probably. Yeah. So that's a funny old one. It's a funny old one. It doesn't mention what it's actually going to. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass. I don't know why they've, why they've just fucking done that. That's because that's two films they've done it to. Yeah. Which is just fucking annoying. It doesn't mention anything about what streaming service it's going to. I'm sure they'll let us know close to the time. They, they, must, they must be either doing it because they think, fuck, we may have, may have made a really bad film here. Just chuck it out there. Or they must just be thinking, it's not going to get many ticket sales, but it might make some money if it's straight on streaming. Because if it's straight on streaming, it might be something like Amazon where you have to buy it first. Which, is like I said, it'll mean undoing of it. So. Oh, as Chris is doing search in uh, visuals, any wrestling fans, uh, go check out the Vince McMahon documentary. It's very <laughs> nitty and gritty, I'll tell you that, because it's more about the politics backstage shenanigans of WWE. There's some, there's some fun moments. There's a lot of moments already played out that we've heard a lot as, as wrestling fans throughout the years, but it's very good. Very good. Yeah, so Chris, Chris is going to give it a very watch. Good, very good, very Have you got any news in news? Nothing's fucking. I can't find it where it's gonna get released on. Like I said, I'm sure they'll tell us at some point. Just fucking yeah. save yourself some agony, Chris. Like I said, I don't know how excited you were anyway. I'm curious because I always enjoyed the Hillboys. You know, they weren't outstanding, but I always had a decent bit of fun with them. Bit of fun. Yeah. Yeah, carry on with what you got. Finally. Oh, this is your last one? Yeah. Uh, Uncharted 2 has been confirmed. Nice. Um, I don't... It makes sense Tom and Mark are coming back. Yeah, we, obviously um, we saw them still at the end doing their thing. Yeah. Finding his uh, brother. Yeah. A bit in the end credit scene. Mm-hmm. Um, <coughs> so, yeah. yeah. I had a shit... Again, I don't know what the hardcore fans, like the actual game fans thought. I had fun with it. I had so much fun with it. I never really played the game. I was more on the Tomb Raider side of things than the Uncharted. Because mm. they're both exactly the same. Yeah. Just opposite sex. Uh, but I was always more on the Tomb, Tomb Raider side. When I, I always just see these, anything that's to do with going out there and finding some sort of treasure, I always see as an evolved or updated dated Goonies. No, yeah. matter, no matter what, I know Goonies is a bit of a comedy. It's silly, it's dumb, it's goofy, it's over the top. But it's an adventure to find some sort of treasure. Treasure. So whenever, whether it's National Treasure, whether it's Lo- uh, Lo- Lara Croft, whoever it is, I'm always like, this is some sort of evolved Goonies. That's how my stupid mind works. Evolved Goonies. Well, that's your canoes and news, is it, Chris? That's my canoes and news. Well, we won't hand on too much because we've got one more pod to do, and uh, we Chris Chrissy wants to get to Betty Betty. That was fucking cringe. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Chrissy, Chrissy wants to get the buddy buddy, uh, and then I'm gonna chill out as well. So visuals, we'll end it there. Go check out the Batman if you haven't seen it. Uh, it's been out for a while now. We'll very much recommend. And then have a yes. fun watch of the Penguin. Yes, 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 yes. And next week we'll have the Joker. 
for next week. Yes, you are correct, sir. Um, yes, yeah, sorry, I should have added this before. The One Piece uh, season two uh, is just officially announced. Um, oh, what the fuck's his name? Joe, Joe Maganelli. Uh, you know the big bastard that's in True Blood as the wolf and yeah. and all that shit because he's a genuine nerd in real life. He has been added to the cast. I saw his interview. He is also a sexy bastard. Uh, have you watched Magic Mike two? No, I haven't uh, seen the first one. Oh well. Magic Mike 2, his Pepsi water bottle scene quite often gets the end of my penis tingling. So I'd highly recommend It's fucking beautiful, mate. There's a there's a girl in a shop and they're like going there and strip tease when he's there against like the fridge, rubbing the bottle down his, his belly and <laughs> doing all kinds of sex stuff, mate. It's uh, another just another beautiful person. There, there's Fair so enough. much attention to detail and love going into these One Piece uh, stuff at the minute. It's outstanding, so I can't wait for season two. Uh, but there we go, visuals. We will end it there. I'm going to say thank you for listening. We're always keeping you all keep on keeping on. And Chris is going to say... Um. <laughs> um. <laughs> um. Um. I don't know. <laughs> He's tired, bearing in mind, visuals, so you have to be kind. Bear with him. I'm going to say... I'm going to say... Um, just go to bed early, kids. Yeah. Don't under don't uh, uh, underappreciate an early night. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like some old man advice from Chris. Um, I'm gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> when you poked his head, come on. If you want to be my lover, <laughs> you've got to get with my friend. <laughs> no, no. Make it last forever. Friendship never, never ends. ends. There you go. That is the most <laughs> girly, gay, poppy thing I've ever heard you say, mate. I don't think I've ever heard you sing a pop song, and I, I we need more of that. <laughs> In a bit of visuals. Oh, mate, I love some. Uh...